So guys, if you've been following the channel, as you know, you will see that we have taken a Bitcoin trade recently and go over the last couple of episodes to figure out where that trade is exactly and the targets I've been taking. But essentially, we bought around the 38K region and uh, we had a one take profit target at 43K, one at like 46K and the other one was around 52K. But I'm generalizing to see the specifics. Make sure you go back and check out the other videos. And yeah, guys, we're going to be going over today the trade, what I'm thinking, and also kind of the reaction to this sell-off that we've had today and whether this is a good thing or a bad thing and guys if you want to see more content like this make sure you stick around subscribe to the channel we do a video every single day well two actually every single day but one is a bitcoin video every day and uh yeah subscribe and also leave a like on the video if you do enjoy so we can see here on the daily that the uh, kind of the consolidation continues uh, we talked about this potential Thing being a pattern here some kind of rising wedge uh, on a longer scale this is of course the daily chart so this will take a while to play out most likely um, but this this may see this level of support and resistance act as quite a heavy barrier because we do need to break above it to actually flip it and then use that as a propulsion back up to 52 to 60 plus k region so this can be interesting to see and uh, we were talking about this level on the shorter term time frame as well uh, being one to uh, be wary of as the next kind of take profit zone however there's a few things i want to point out which is why again i'm still bullish regardless of the sell-off because i know a lot of people freaking out because we saw such a happy candle that everyone got happy and excited about and then such a big sell-off today coming right back to where we were so let's talk about it we have this level here, right? This was that higher low that was formed in the trend. So you can see that one, two, three move for the trend. This is just very basic trend knowledge, guys, that we talk about this in all of our videos pretty much. And also we have the course down below if you wanna go from beginner to expert in trading, that is the course for you. Make sure you take a look at that. The link is down in the description. And essentially, since this was not broken, we did not flip bearish in the short term. Now, another thing to mention, is a, a more short-term thing here is we flipped above this level here which means again we broke bullish and we even broke bullish up here as well so these are even more confluences from a structure point of view alongside the obvious uh, structure breaks that we had along the way these were obvious structure breaks all showing us that we are still bullish and unless we break down below thirty-seven thousand dollars and then down below 34 and thirty-three thousand dollars we're absolutely fine based on a structural point of view so there's actually now this whole area as a potential area to pick up bitcoin this becomes a new level of demand if we counting this as a break of structure at thirty nine thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars so therefore anywhere between thirty seven thousand and thirty nine thousand four hundred is now a buying area or an area maybe you want to dollar cost average into or take a trade from um and so guys if you did feel like you missed out on the trade you know there's a perfect area that we could actually take the trade from right now so uh, that's just one thing to mention uh, however please remember this is just my opinion not financial advice or anything like that now if we take a look at our indicators we have the ssl channel and the pivot point super trend indicator and despite the big sell-off we are still seeing bullish momentum with the ssl channel and the pivot point super trend indicator and i'm actually really really inclined to buy here guys um, this is just because i've seen this kind of pattern happen over and over again and this is where experience in the market and time in the market is so, super valuable um, and if this is just one of those things i've seen time and time again as well that has played out really really nicely so i think I, yeah, I would be inclined to just place a buy trade where we are right now with a stop loss either below 37,000 or below 34,000. And then in terms of take profits, I'd be aiming first for around 44,000, then 46, 47,000, and then 52 and beyond. But yeah, this confluence of the SSL channel and the pivot point super channel indicator doesn't happen very often on the daily chart. And when it does, we've seen huge moves, guys, in the past. So I don't want to miss out just because there's been a little bit of a sell off. If we do close bearish with the ssl channel either today or tomorrow then i will change that bias of course uh, a lot of people always say are you changing your bias a lot well crypto is such a volatile market on a day-to-day -day, short time frame basis of course i'm going to be changing my bias a lot or just depending on the structure so that is uh, something to note there but you can see here with the emas on the four hour we have gone bearish again and we are looking bearish on the one hour and the daily unfortunately so emas have gone bearish once again but again they're not the most accurate uh, ways of indicating price i would say so yeah guys that's pretty much it in terms of uh 
of the video what I'm saying about uh, what's happening with the price. We're seeing this long-term consolidation playing out on the daily. We're seeing still bullish structure taking shape. And as long as we don't cross down below these two key levels, we should be absolutely fine. So if you want to trade, make sure you check out the link down below for Bybit as well. There's, you can get up to $4,100 for free to trade with, as well as 30% off your trading fees if you meet the deposit requirements. So definitely check that out if you are interested in trading and you can check out our tutorials on the channel as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.